Listen to that. Very similar to the fluid in the interstitial space and similar to the fluid in plasma, except what? It's low in protein. So the fluid inside the lymph nodes, uh, inside the lymph capillaries and the lymph vessels, is simply called lymph. It's, it's similar, you could just write interstitial fluid. So let's start with the lymph vessels, and then I'm going to do lymph nodes. And I'm going to start with the lymph capillaries. So you write lymph capillaries. One, they start as a blind sac. See? It? Right? See? It? Like a blind sac, like my fingers. Where are they not found? In avascular tissue. What does that mean? In tissues where there is what? No blood. Because why do you need them? If there's no blood, then nothing is leaking out. Which, name me some avascular tissue. Name me two that you just had on the cornea and the lens. Right? Their organs, right? There's none inside the vitreous, which is just the bare vitelli. You know where else you don't have lymph vessel? Lymph capillaries round inside the central nervous system. There are no lymph capillaries in your brain and spinal cord. I'll give you two more. There are no lymph capillaries in your bone marrow. Don't need them. And last, there's no lymph capillaries in your spleen. First question, I gave you the answer, see if you learned it. Which is more permeable, blood capillaries or lymph capillaries? Yeah. Lymph capillaries, right? Lymph capillaries lead to lymph on the board, is that right? Yeah. What do lymph capillaries lead to? Lymph vessels. Lens capillary, lens capillary, leading into a lens vessel. This is thicker, it's like, it's like a vein. With maybe more lens capillaries, what? Empty into the vessel. Are you all with me? And then lens vessels may join what? Other lens vessels and make what? Bigger? Lens vessels? We're all with it? Which they want? Emptying to even bigger. And, there, and these lymph vessels, the big ones, have names that are very important. <coughs> so let me show you something about lymph vessels. Really fascinating. Does the lymph system have a pump? No. no. So, what's to prevent lymph from sliding backwards into the lymph capillary? You don't want that. And what prevents it, all along lymph vessels, you have is coming up from where my feet are, and up front there's a tube here, okay? You all with me? This is a lymph vessel, and here's the valve. As lymph is coming up, these flaps, my fingers, get what? Pushed to the side, see it? And the lymph what? Goes up. And when the lymph tries to what? Slide 
back, it gets caught behind my what, hands, and it what? Forces the valve to close. Do you all see that? Do it on the board? I did it. As lift is moving up, it's going to push the flaps to the side. And now if lift tries to come back, it's going to what? Cause the flaps to come together. That's not clever. And you, how many of these valves do you have? Loads enough. And, and your legs, particularly where gravity is trying to what? Send the lymph back down. You have a valve in each lymph vessel about every half inch. Okay? You got them in your arms, you got lymph vessels, you got them in your chest, you got them in your, yeah. They don't. It's a matter of where the pressure is greatest. If the pressure is greater coming up, yeah. then the valves will be open. If the pressure is greater coming yeah. down, do you remember? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense? Yeah. It's very passive, okay? This what happens according to the pressure inside the leg. Now comes the part that they emphasize a lot in nursing. True or false? Lift capillaries are very permeable. True. True. A lot of things can get in. Ooh. There's a lot, you know, when you eat a meal, you'd be surprised what causes your intestine and gets into your body. Bacteria, viruses, trigons, molds, whatever. Gets into the lymph system. Do you want to send these into your blood now? No. If you get an infection in your blood, I'm going to tell you, most of the time, you are going to die. You're going to die of what we call septicemia. So let me show you what the lymph vessels do. 